The potential for gridlock on the roads is pushing some eclipse watchers to come up with a plan B. And for one group, that means taking to their bicycles. Christine Pitawanich is live in southeast Portland. Christine, a new website is connecting avid bike riders who are interested in pedaling to the eclipse path. Yeah, this new website lists various spots where cyclists can meet up the morning of the eclipse so they can ride down to the path of totality together. One of those spots right here in southeast Portland, right underneath the Markham Bridge between the Hawthorne Bridge and OMSI. These days, Tom Howe's bicycle is his main mode of transportation. Don't even drive a car anymore except on rare occasions. And it's going to stay that way, even though he's got plans to pedal to the path of totality for the eclipse on August 21st. My plan is to go the day before. As for all the cars that may be on the road, Howe says he's not all too worried. And generally, you might have enough room to actually ride along the shoulder, even if there is a traffic jam. You can bet other avid cyclists are thinking about doing something similar. Bike to the Eclipse.com is a new website that helps experienced cyclists meet up and ride together to the path of totality. So the idea was then to get a large group of people all go down together, and if someone has an issue, we can help each other get to the eclipse and then get all the way back. Neil Armstrong and a small group of volunteers have been working on the website for the last couple of weeks. We thought, why don't we try to create a, a tool that everyone can use and get themselves to the eclipse and back without getting into a car. There's information on possible routes to take and tips on how to stay safe. Just like going backpacking for three days on your own, we feel that in order to leave to the eclipse, you need to be prepared for anything that may happen. That's why there's a checklist on the website that includes everything from an extra bike tire to water and food. I have a little first aid kit as well. Howe's prepared with all that. He requested the day off 18 months ago, and he'll be braving the roads no matter how packed they might be. On a bike, you can always walk. And you really never know, that might be the best option if roads really are that bad. There's also another group heading out of Portland, leaving Sunday evening, cycling through the night all the way to Salem for the eclipse. I spoke with an ODOT spokesperson. They tell me that there are highways that bicyclists are allowed on, other highways they're not allowed on. They just hope that the bicyclists stick to the rules of the road. But also, they say there is special concern when it comes to cyclists because they're just more vulnerable out on the roads. Back to you.